Hello everyone. Welcome to the Hub by Built Environment magazine. We are a trade magazine that focuses on the built industry supply chain. This space features voices from real estate, asset management, facilities management, community management also known as owners association and prop tech sectors. This is Marisha Singh, the editor of Built Environment magazine. In this space we speak to a whole range of professionals in the built industry to highlight trends as well as challenges and factors shaping the built space we all occupy. Today we have with us Muhammad Shoki, co-founder and CEO of GIS Drones. GIS Drones provide commercial and professional aerial services for industry applications and was established in Dubai in 2020. Muhammad Shoki has been advocating for drone usage across industries including construction, facility management, roads and transport inspection and oil and gas so let's hear from him i wanted to talk about gi drones and the work it is doing in the uae so my first question to you is could you tell us about gi drones and your joint venture with land sterling yeah thank you very much for this opportunity um It's my pleasure uh, to be here to discuss about the drones technology and how our joint venture has started. Actually, uh, Giant Drones is uh, considered uh, one of the innovative technology companies here in Dubai, established from two years, and we are providing drone services for uh, multiple sectors such as construction, real estate, uh, oil and gas. Uh, agriculture infrastructure and a new name so uh, when we first uh, met with uh, mr hamza i was having a meeting with him as a potential client because uh, land sterling are uh, providing uh, real estate uh, evaluation services and from our point of view drones can take a, a very good uh, reality picture and as is situation so that you can properly put your valuation to the client in uh, in a correct way so our conversation became uh, more serious and uh, we got into a mutual synergy that there is a very good handshake between the uh, real estate evaluation and the drone capture we can help each other Uh, they are doing uh, internal building inspection and we are doing external building inspection so together we can have a full package of uh, the value of any real estate or property because you mentioned multiple industries in the, uh, that drones can help in could you describe uh, how the drone technology can help facility management tasks to be carried out across the UAE yes the drones you can consider the drones as your eye in the air so uh, you can imagine how many high rise building we have here in dubai uh, mashallah there are a lot of skyscrapers and uh, and everywhere in the country not only in dubai in the whole uae and and the drones can be a, a very good tool to capture any issues or anomalies or the progress of the building while it's being constructed or after it's delivered to the client uh, drones can do a uh, facade inspection uh, can do internal inspection of the buildings can capture a 3d model and generate uh, your digital transformation digital twin of the building so that you have a repository of your assets it can uh, inspect the solar panels of the roof of the buildings or the or or, or the the front of the, of the buildings it can also uh, survey an area and give you very high accurate measurement up to 2 cm accurate this measurement can help you or this output can help you to develop the 2d map a 3d model of your assets and can be delivered to the construction company to continue their uh, construction works or can be can generate an inspection report to be delivered to the maintenance company to do the proper maintenance to the uh, high risk results that's out of the report 
taking from the number of uh, skills that drones are able to carry out i wanted to talk about a recent incident that happened in dubai we had a major fire at a high rise in dubai so how can drones help in such a scenario uh, in terms of preventive and reactive scenarios actually recently uh, one of the rent owned hotels in in dubai have contacted us complaining about the same issues that uh, they are uh, receiving some complaints of bad smells inside the hotel lobbies uh, and they don't know the source uh, of this uh, what's happening maybe it's something dangerous or something leaking so uh, we have provided them with a cage drone solution it's it's a drone in in the size of the basketball or maybe a little bit bigger that drone can fly in confined spaces and very hard to reach areas that cannot be reached by a normal human being we have been able to fly that drone inside the elevator shafts for more than 60 floors height to inspect the inside of the elevators and also it flew inside the the garbage pipes as well as the HVAC the t- tubes and from there we were able to capture very important important information about uh, uh some broken pipes some uh, leaked gases uh, some dead animals and uh, broken wires that was result of a previous fire that happened to that building and that inspection report was no way can be done by a normal a normal a human being and uh, alhamdulillah we have saved lives and we have saved time and money from uh, for the property owners could you expand on this point a bit more how can facility managers save time and money through the help of drones all right based on our previous studies uh, using drones can save at least 70% of time and 50% of the cost compared to the manual methods i'm giving you here an example in exterior facade inspection or the exterior building inspection we are using the drones to scan every centimeter of the building in a systematic manner using in an s shape or a z shape so we don't leave any centimeter of the building uninspected if you compare the time that uh, between the manual method using uh, the normal scaffoldings or rope access or the maintenance units compared to the drones uh, we can finish a full building of 10 stories in just 4 hours while it will take at least 2 weeks to do it using the manual methods and apparently it's proportional to the cost as well because 4 hours of flying and then another one day of report the cost here would be very much less compared to the cost of the maintenance inspectors to be on the units taking pictures manually and then uh, sending this to their um, uh, softwares or manually inspecting the pictures so we are saving a lot of efforts here compared to the uh, to the manual method and at the end the deliverables coming from the drones are very much high quality and precision it sounds amazing to hear and i would love to see it one day in action because you mentioned uh, drones are able to do something much better than their human counterparts in terms of uh, a landscape like dubai could you explain how are you combining the use of drones with artificial intelligence all right uh, that comes the the technical part and the, the the powers of combining the technology and the market w- with the data that is captured from the drone uh, the drone part allows us to capture high quality geo reference data and we are equipping this with an ai software that takes the output of the drone and analyzes this data 
to come up with the anomalies and analysis reports. We have taken, uh, we have captured a 10 story building in only four hours. That resulted in about 500 to 600 pictures. We feed these pictures into the AI software to analyze more than 30 types of defects that can be found in the building, such as corrosions, paint peeling, rust, broken glasses, cracks in the concrete, non-functioning solar panels, many types can be detected by the AI software. And the AI software finished these 500 picture analysis in, in almost 10 minutes. That will bring you to 90% accurate data from the AI. After that, we employ our technical quality engineers to recheck and reconfirm the, the, the correctness of the report that's coming from the AI so that we are delivering a 100% correct report finally to the, to the client. So that's the power of empl employing the AI along with the, uh, the drone capture. We do the same also for the solar panel inspection. We, we have done previous uh, uh, projects for solar panels for high prestigious clients such as Mazdar and uh, Al Qudra in Dubai. We inspect thousands of solar panels and then take these pictures, feed it into the AI software to detect the non-working cells uh, or defected uh, strings. And, and so we provide the final delivery report of a very high quality inspection report. You have till now described how uh, drone usage can help on the client uh, support side for facility management. What I wanted to know was can drones help uh, FM companies in reducing work related incidents and accidents for their own staff who is deployed on site? When we speak about the values of drones, we speak about the, the time, the cost, and definitely the safety factor. Uh, as drones are saving time and money for the client, it is reducing the, the risk and the injuries factor for the client up to, to almost zero. Uh, you can understand uh, for risky operations like uh, the uh, the Spider-Man who are inspecting the, the Bush Khalifa or the future museum, they are using the rope access to inspect or clean any part of the building. That part uh, is totally eliminated using the drones because we, we, we save the facility management companies from using rope, any rope access or MU units by using drones we are completing the inspection to every single piece of the building and hard to reach places and giving them a risk-free delivery report in a timely manner with zero risk so that you don't fall into any fatality or injuries uh, risks at all as a facility management company. That's a great example and I could just visualize uh, our Spider-Man on these facilities. What are your most promising or high growth prospects in 2023? Yeah, uh, Alhamdulillah, in the past two years, we have established ourselves very well in Abu Dhabi and in Dubai and in the whole Emirates of the UAE. Our vision, uh, inshallah, for 2023 is uh, to start our operation in uh, Saudi Arabia, and we have already done, uh, as well as uh, expand our operations overall in the whole GCP region. We started, uh, we have done a couple of projects in Oman already, and we are exploring the, 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 the uh, uh, opportunities in Kuwait and in Qatar, especially after the, uh, the World Cup of FIFA. Uh, another very good uh, region that we are uh, aiming for by maybe the, the, the second half of the year in 2023 is the North Africa and especially in Egypt and Algeria. These uh, locations are, uh, you can say, are rich of uh, resources and drones can extremely help in surveying their lands or uh, in the agriculture uh, 
and also as well as in Sudan, we have we, we have so many capabilities for drones that can help in nurture, nurturing these uh, countries and these uh, regions. But we have some challenges as well because uh, every country has its own challenges related to the permissions. And that's the part that maybe delays us a little bit or requires some more efforts and cooperation with the local authorities because each country has a different kind of permissions uh, related to that specific region. Absolutely, I totally understand. And thank you so much for providing such a wide range of uh, options and views into the drone usage across facility management industry in UAE. You will be taking for, uh, this conversation forward and we would be happy to have you here to give more insight about drone usage across other industries such as construction that you just mentioned. Sure, great. That was Muhammad Shahi, ladies and gentlemen, giving us an insight into the exciting world of drones and their application across the built environment. For more such insights, please follow us as we showcase conversations on the Hub on our LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram handles, Built Environment ME. See you next time.